Hello and welcome back to another review. This time I will review the Xiaomi M2A. Uh, we already reviewed the Xiaomi Mi2, so we'll just go quickly around the M2A as it's a very similar device, just different spec and it's a lot. It costs a lot less. Uh, being the little brother of the uh, Mi2 and the M2S, it is surprising that it does have a bigger screen of 4.5 inch versus 4.3 inch. That you get on the MI2 or the uh, M2S. It still carries the same resolution of uh, 1280 by 720 pixel resolution. Uh, when you order it, it comes with the same standard accessories. You do get your USB data cable, your wall charger, and your instruction manual. Okay. Uh, so what's different on the uh, Xiaomi M2A and why does it cost over $100 uh, less than the uh, M2S and the Mi2? Uh, okay, F first, instead of the uh, quad-core Snapdragon S4 processor, it is fitted with a uh, Snapdragon S4 Pro dual-core processor which is clocked at 1.7GHz uh, and it is and it's matched to an Adreno 320 graphics processor so that's one of the reason why it does cost less however it almost perform as good as the uh, quad core processor and we can go check the uh, n22 benchmark test and check the results as you can see it scored uh, 18387 which is pretty good if we compare it uh, against the competition okay uh, it's a little faster than the google nexus 4 and right below the uh, sony xperia z so for a dual core processor under $300 it does very well. Uh, now it does support NFC, so that's a plus. Uh, it is fitted with a better uh, Wi-Fi module. Uh, it packs the same uh, camera technology with 2 megapixel camera in the front and 8 megapixel camera in the back. It has a GLONASS GPS for uh, accurate positioning. It is also fitted with the Direct HD technology so you do get uh, better sound out of this little machine. Uh, the body itself is the same as before. Uh, you can have different colors for the uh, back cover from uh, black, blue, orange, yellow. So you can decide that. Uh, you have the power button on the right hand side, your volume controls, your micro USB port at the bottom. Okay. You have your eight megapixel camera with the LED flash right here. Okay. And in the front, you have your uh, front facing camera in the front so it's essentially the okay. same uh, in terms of uh, networks uh, for the 3G networks it has the uh, 900, 1900 and 2100 uh, megahertz bands so it will work everywhere in the world uh, I've personally tested it with Rogers and TELUS so it will work on all Canadian and US networks and uh, that's about it in terms of connectivity so this is what you get with the, the Xiaomi Mi uh, M2A. It's pretty much you get to taste uh, to taste what the uh, to taste the uh, Xiaomi My UI, which is in my opinion one of the best uh, softwares out there. Uh, it is definitely the easiest software to customize on a phone. Uh, it is based on uh, Android 4.1, and we can go check that in the settings menu. Um, settings right here so if we go about phone and we'll see uh, mo model number mi2a android 4.1.1 and it's a uh, my ui version glb15 and it's a dual core 1.7 gigahertz processor system updates are done over the air so uh, that's it for the uh, my quick review about the uh, xiaomi uh, m2a so let's wrap this up so what do you get when you purchase the uh, m2a Number one, you get a great phone. Uh, it has arg arguably the best software out there. Uh, as I've already mentioned, for sure it does have the best customizable OS. Uh, it is based on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, you get 1GB of uh, DDR3 RAM and 16GB of built-in memory with a removable battery of 2030mA. Uh, it is priced at under $300. There is hardly any draw drawbacks with this phone. Uh, the fact that it, it is highly customizable, it's extremely fast, 
and uh, Xiaomi has updates for their phones every other week. It's definitely one of the best buys. I mean, if you're looking for, if you're in the market for a single SIM phone under $300, well, here you go.